ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme Video, the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 14th of July. We're talking a, uh, well, autumn-like night, maybe for midsummer. We're talking potential for upper 50s and low 60s early tomorrow morning. Very close to record levels for this time of the year. Let's go right to our SkyCam network, and drier air is taking over. There's the view coming from the SkyCam in Demopolis, looking north from the top of the Demopolis Civic Center. Just a few fluffy fair weather clouds in the sky. Sticking with a river view, how about the mighty Tennessee River? As seen from our sky cam up in Decatur in Morgan County. And from Mount Cheehaw, that's the view looking right down the Talladega Mountains from Cheehaw State Park at the restaurant there on a sunny, comfortable July day in Alabama. Hey, hey, look at the dry air. Continental air dropping in here. Doesn't happen that often in mid-July, but from time to time it can, and it's happening now. That dry air means a dry pattern for a while. In fact, really and truly, the chance of a big rain event looks small, at least for the next five to seven days. We do note that little cluster of uh, convection down there in the north central gulf. Let's keep an eye on that. Uh, sometimes old fronts, like we've got down there, can be a little breeding ground for tropical systems. QPF map, heaviest rain over, uh, well, Tampa Bay, about 5.3 inches there. And up north from uh, Omaha up to uh, the UP of Michigan. And around here, that's got a little green painted in, but I really think that uh, we'll be pretty dry. This is valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. I guess a shower might pop up at the end of the week, but I'd say it's pretty unlikely. Tropical weather, there's a look at Bertha, the tropical storm. Bertha's been out there a long time, you know it, and more than likely it's going to be out there for a long time. Uh, it is a, a tropical storm east of Bermuda. Going to do kind of a wavy pattern out of here, north, then uh, back to the northeast, southeast, and northeast again. I think it's just wobbling out of here. By Saturday morning, it should be on the journey uh, off to the North Atlantic. And 94L, that could become a tropical depression. Looks very well organized. Outflow looks good. And this is a more low-latitude system. That thing's about halfway between the Lesser Antilles and the coast of Africa. And the modeling, well, the majority of the models want to take that thing into the Caribbean. And uh, putting the thing near or south of Hispaniola at some point in about 120 hours. So uh, that bears close watching. The water is pretty warm down there, and that could become a formidable system. And that will be the sea storm. Cristobal is the name, if uh, that gets a name. We'll go through modeling. This is where we are today at, I'm sorry, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, Tuesday. Uh, trough over the northeast U.S., a little segment kind of hanging back over the southeast and down below all of that. Uh, the air dries a bone, so a sunny day tomorrow. And again, we note the pressures are kind of low down there in the northeastern Gulf. We'll keep an eye on that. That's going to keep Florida awfully wet, the, the Florida Peninsula. Uh, Wednesday, that surface low is located uh, near Jacksonville, moving northeast. And, of course, all the moisture southeast of here will have a sunny day. Thursday, same deal, moisture over southern Georgia. Maybe extreme southeast Alabama, we stay dry as the surface low drifts northeast. And then Friday, hey, still looks pretty dry, doesn't it? Saturday starting off the weekend, no change. Sunday, not much change. So by golly, if this model run is right, uh, uh, most all of Alabama, especially the northern half, will be dry through, through the weekend ahead. And then Monday of next week, flat ridge across the southern U.S. And again, just not a lot to talk about there. So a seven-week quiet period here. We'll check the end of the cycle at the end of the month, the 30th of July. Uh, you know, the, the, the westerlies are displaced, of course, farther to the north, but uh, the upper heights are not that bad for the end of July and looks kind of like a weak surface boundary draped around here and still no sign of any excessive heat. That's uh, temperatures uh, we define in the upper 90s or hotter triple digits and that's good that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the uh, blog the next video here by seven o'clock tomorrow morning and of course we invite you to watch us on television this evening abc 3340 news at five six and ten o'clock again thanks for watching have a wonderful evening and god bless